We're going to export data from MyOB account right 19. Going to export some items and selling prices. Export into Excel, change for selling prices and then import back into MyOB. So the start, gone file, export data. In our case we're going to export items. We use the leave it as tab delimited and header record. These are the default settings. Click continue. Okay, we need to select the records that we're going to export. So in our case it will be item number and all the so the selling price which is down further. down here. These are the only two fields we're going to export so we click on export. We need to save this just for convenience we'll save it onto the desktop. You'll notice that the file name has a txt it's always saved as a TXT file. We'll just leave it as the default name called item and save. Okay. Next step, we're going to open Excel. and we're going to open that file. File open. Go to the desktop. Find the file name. have to change to all files to make sure it captures that txt file. Here somewhere. There it is. And open that. Okay, it is a delimited file, so we leave it at that setting. Click next. Tab delimiteds. Leave it at that setting. Click next. I'll leave it at general and finish. These are our selling prices. Going to make a I'll just widen these columns. Going to make a new column called new. Selling price. We're going to increase the price by 5%. So for that reason we'll put in the formula. So in this case it was B2 multiplied by 5% and we'll just autofill all the way down. Made a little error here. will be 1.5 in other words. Alright so the formula is this column so the B column multiplied by 105 percent and then we auto filled all the way down. 
and we will save that file now. Just say, want to keep the worksheet in this format? Yes, we do. Right, so we've saved our Excel file and we've closed the Excel file. So now we're back in Maya. And to import the new data that we've got, file and import data and items. Okay, so in duplicate records we need to click on update existing records because we are updating the existing price lists of the items. Click continue. We find our import data file, which is the item.txt file. Open that one. Okay, so here what we are doing is matching these import fields to the account right field. So we have item number which we will be matching to this item number. Then we're going to match the new selling price to selling price which we need to scroll down to find to this selling price. Then we click on import. Okay, we get this message 35 records imported, no records imported with warning. So that's a good sign. Click on OK. Our job is done.